The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install a software Motion Eye for your Raspberry Pi. Now I'm using the Pi 4 32-bit uh, software here, the latest and greatest. We're going to be installing this to be able to view cameras. Uh, the Pi camera for one or USB camera and so on. So we could just uh, get into root here or you could just type out the commands if you want but uh, I'll throw a link in, in the description to my website for all this information but uh, we just need to install some dependencies and install the uh, software and do a couple things here and we'll be good to go alright so now we'll download the uh, software and we'll do a dpack dpackage here then we just need to run a few more commands so we'll let that run alright so now we'll install that we'll let that download and install and we'll download a couple more dependencies then we'll install motion i okay so that all installed and we have that so now what we can do is make a directory here then we're going to do some copying make another directory and start and we should be good to go all right, so what we might have to do is enable or make sure we have. Okay, there we go. So we just need to find the camera. Oh, there it is. And we'll do a reboot. All right, so once it's installed, we're just going to go to the IP address of our Pi with uh, the port number 8765. Now, your first login will just be admin with an empty password to log in. Now that we don't have nothing set up, we can just click here. Now, like I said, I have the uh, Raspberry Pi camera module plugged in with the ribbon cable. So we're just going to let it like that. Then we're just going to scroll down and select MMAL service 16.1. We'll let it come up and there we go. Here's my camera. And if we go down through here, we can change a bunch of settings. Now, I'm not going to go through all this. It's kind of self-explanatory. We can have our uh, file storage and so on. I definitely recommend using a USB drive or a NAS or an external solid-state drive or whatnot. You can change the overlay and we can uh, make this bigger. We can configure, open picture browser and so on. If we want to add another camera, just select on that, click add camera. Then you have the drop down here and obviously this down here depending on what you have selected so like for a network camera but I mean the list goes on and on of what you can do and when you make a change you'll come up here and apply 
So if we come down here, we can change the resolution. So if we change it, say to that, we can click apply. And there we go. Now that changed. Now the picture is upside down. We can rotate that. Apply. And there we go. We can update the frame rate. So you get the point. You can change this all you want. So hopefully this helps out. I'll throw a link in the description to my website. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.